Question I pose to my YouTube friends. What did you think of Aquaman? We, I won't say how, got access to the movie before it releases on Friday. We saw it. Now, they may be heavily relying on the computer animation and special effects to sell this movie. But personally, okay, for one thing, he's eye candy. I don't know the guy's name, but he's obviously eye candy. Oh, he is so fine and so high. But, but yes. it was a lot of characters in there that didn't need to be in there. The computer animation was good, but the story was all over the place. Totally. Like, you had to have a journal just to keep up with what was going on. And I think that the reason that they... Because usually blockbuster movies, the ones that are like... You got a hundred nerds in the special effects department, like, geeking it out. I mean, they like nerd luncheon. Like, they're getting all the graphics together, the contrast, the lighting. Everything is good. But the thing of it is, is that the movie is all over the place. And I'm thinking that that's why they didn't release it in the summer like a regular blockbuster. Right. Big time blockbusters that they already know are going to be successful are released in the summer. Like the Avengers and all of that other stuff. Aquaman has always been a very corny comic book character. If you look online and look up the old Aquaman. He is blonde. He's blonde. Sure he's has. not that big. Who the hell going to fight a war underwater? Everything that moves underwater is going to be, unless it's an eel or something, it's going to be relatively fast, but not moving at the speed that an action movie would need to have. So it was a tremendous undertaker. So what they had to do was beef up Aquaman so he did that so that he didn't seem like a cornball. Because if your ass is a buster, two and three will regulate. And but, this just didn't work for me. But at, okay, so the thing that got me is this: is what I got. This is what got me. One of the characters, the it, that that one character looked just like Aquaman. The Old timey Aquaman. Yeah, there is a guy in there that looks like the old timey Aquaman. Right. So you you're thinking like, well, damn, that should have been Aquaman, but you know, you want the fine man, the fine one. You want the fine one as Aquaman because you the other one he did not look that good anyway. But I mean, that's his personal appearance. I mean, preferences. But I'm saying he didn't look that good, and he, but he looked like the old modern day um, Aquaman with the blonde hair, that little wannabe body. Or whatever. The Anglo Saxon blonde hair, yeah. blue eyes Aquaman. The Aquaman, that one, yeah. Whatever. I mean, so, they did at least try to tie the way the comic book looked into the live action, even though he was playing a totally different character. Mm -hmm. I still do not think... And there's so much all over the place. And it was more like, it wasn't really a characterization of Aquaman and who Aquaman is or what Aquaman... I mean, it explains the story of who Aquaman is and everything else. It just seemed like they were trying to pack way too much information in a short amount of time. Right. And then the other character, there's like a female, yeah, so I guess you have to have a one male lead character. But she looks like Poison character. Ivy from Batman. I there don't... There you go. That was the thing. She had the red hair, green body. And then they, hair, green suit. Yeah. they conjured up Nicole Kidman from Hollywood Hell or wherever she was been at. And the first opening scenes, that's who you see. And I'm like, okay. But I don't judge a movie just by that. As the story went on and they started introducing actors and the storyline got so muddy and complicated mm -hmm. that it just really became... I, you watch it for the special effects, but the story leaves you all over the place. Like I said, right now, we were not impressed. At all. There was just too much going on. They were. It was a tremendous undertaking. They didn't clearly have the story be conducive from beginning to end because they were trying to introduce so many elements of the Aquaman story in that time frame that it was way too many characters between the special effects and the story. It was all over. That's why to me it's not really good. I feel like the storyline kind of falters in some places. Um, but at the end of the day, I do feel like it is a bit, it's going to be a very visual movie. Right. But and so gonna, I don't you're know. You're going to get lost in some places. You're going to, oh my God. This is one of these movies, like, if you don't pay attention and it gets slow and boring, and sometimes, like, all movies do get slow and boring at times. So this is one of those ones. But, and there are really good fight scenes in here, too. But there's like, okay, well, you know, certain just, like, what conflicts me is how can some people not breathe under the water and breathe up on air and then they can't breathe up air and they, but they can breathe on the water. There's a I fluidness mean, it's, it's, that didn't work throughout the story. Right, because some... And naturally, assuming that 
we just going to keep up. But for the people who have never heard of Aquaman, those millennials, there has to be a way for them to keep up with the story. And they were all over the place. So uh, we want to hear your comments in the comment section below. Remember to hit like and subscribe, guys. And we will be back with more content very, very soon. Talk to you later, guys.